All right, so if you're in the market for a solution for your MacBook Pro where you just use one USB cable to connect all of your peripherals, I think this TS4 dock is for you. And you know what? I'll be honest with you guys. Um, it I don't know, maybe I have some mental issues, but I like my desk to be extremely clean. So really don't want six different cables or how many different cables coming out of my MacBook Pro. I want to keep it simple. And I think one cable really puts my mind at ease. Now I've used a few docks in my lifetime. And one that comes to mind um, was actually one that was featured on the 9 to 5 Max YouTube channel. And I think it was on that website as well. You may have seen it, which was the Sonnet Echo 20. And overall, I, I think it was a decent dock, but uh, it did have some drawbacks and one of those um, involved the actual Ethernet connection. Now the dock did promise uh, 2.5 gigabit connection, um, but I was only getting one gigabyte and I can't remember if it was for download or upload, um, but I, I just couldn't get past uh, one gigabyte. I actually tried to reach out to Sonic customer service. Um, but I never, you know, received a response. So I, I will say the customer service really kind of turned me off. But otherwise, other than that, it was a decent dock. Um, but it was just, I paid for 2.5 uh, internet. I only got one. So that's kind of the thing that really kind of turned me off. Uh, so I returned it and then I picked up this guy, which is the Kyle Digit TS4. And I've been pretty happy with it for the most part. Uh, I was kind of bummed out that there was no HDMI port, but most monitors today have a display port. Uh, so I connected and um, I just went past my local Walmart and picked one, picked one up, a cable up and um, it was you know, everything was all good from there. Um, but before I move forward, um, if you're enjoying the video, please uh, don't hesitate to subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Um, otherwise, I uh, just want to get back to the video. Um, so with this dock, I have uh, two ultrawide monitors connected uh, via um, DisplayPort and the other ones connected USB-C. I'm going to put this grid up on here to kind of give you an understanding of how things work uh, because it is a little bit involved in terms of what you can connect. But otherwise, I have two Lumix uh, cameras. I have a GH5 um, second generation, I think um, it's called, um, and then I have a G9 Lumix and I sometimes use it for multi cam um, recording. Uh, but yeah, so that's really nice about the uh, TS4. Other than that, I have my Rodecaster Pro connected. Um, I have an SSD connected. And lastly, the ethernet um, that connects up to 2.5 gigabytes. Um, I have two gigs that I opted for from um, my ISP. Otherwise, um, things just kind of work out of the box. Um, setup was pretty easy and so I have no complaints there no issues whatsoever which uh, really makes me happy um, not going to get in too much of the details of the specs of this unit itself but uh, this guy can actually charge uh, your laptop um, at 98 watts it's pretty nice particularly if you have a MacBook Pro I have a 14 inch MacBook Pro uh, but on the back, you do have four USB A 3.2 Gen port, uh, which supports up to 10 gigabits per second. We have a display port right here and two downstream Thunderbolt uh, ports, which supports up to 15 watts. We have the audio in and out and a USB C on the port, uh, which supports 10 gigabit, 10 gigabits per second, like the other four USB A ports that we have on the back. Also, we have a USB C port that we actually connect our laptop to for charging. Like I mentioned, it charges at 98 watts, uh, which is pretty nice. On the front, we have two USB-C ports. One um, supports 20 watts and the other supports 7.5 watts, but they do both support that 10 gigabit connection speed. There is a USB-C A port on the front like the four on the back that supports 10 gigabits per second as well that can charge up to 7.5 watts. Otherwise, I would say that was a bit of a mouthful, uh, but I will say this guy is expensive, but at the end of the day, you will not uh, be disappointed with this guy if you're looking for 
uh, that one connection um, set up like myself um, really had no issues with this guy and I would definitely recommend this uh, otherwise forgot to mention that it does have two SD card slots one micro and one UHS 2 slot as well but yeah that is pretty much it um, doesn't get too hot uh, when you're using it um, haven't tried to use it at full blast with everything connected and everything turned on but doesn't get too hot um, when I'm using this guy uh, for the most part um, particularly when I'm pushing all those pixels to those two uh, monitors itself uh, otherwise if you guys have any questions about the TS4 let me know in the comment section below otherwise appreciate you guys watching and I will talk to you guys in the next one later